In this video, we're going to be adding objects to our map. So objects can be used to create things like tables, chairs, desks, or anything else you need them to represent in your map. Adding objects is very easy. We're going to come down to this objects menu, and I'm going to select rectangle. So now we see that there's a rectangle object tied to my cursor ready to be placed. I'm going to zoom in to these lunchroom tables, and I'm going to click. I'm going to switch to the select tool using V and then click the object and this will allow me to drag it out to match the shape of this table. You can also use this rotate handle to rotate the object if you need. I'm going to use command or control C to copy it and then command or control V to paste it. And what happens here is it basically creates a stamp that's a duplicate of the object that we copied. And if we have a lot of similarly uh, sized objects, we can use this to basically just stamp them out. So this is a really fast and efficient way to map your venue. Um, again, if, if you've got like a long string of desks that are all the same size or, or chairs or things like that. So I'm just going to finish mapping out all of these tables. And you can see right here, we've got uh, a full lunchroom of tables ready to go. I'm going to do the same thing. I've got an area in my library here, uh, which is basically a study area. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to select the rectangle, de uh, rectangle object. And I'm going to zoom in and click to place. I'm going to choose the select tool, select the object, and then scale it using the handles. And again, once I've got that, I notice that, you know, a lot of these desks are the same size. So I'm going to Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and start pasting all of my all of my desks for my study area. And then this last one, I'm going to switch to the Select tool again. I'm going to select it. Oops. I'm going to select it and drag it out. Okay, now that I've got all of my desks mapped, I'm going to finish creating all the chairs. So I'm going to come down to the objects menu and choose the round object. I'm going to pan up to where my first chair is and click. I'm going to switch the select tool with V. And now I'm going to scale down this circle to create a chair. Okay, so I've moved it into place. I'm going to use the same copy and paste mechanism from earlier. And I'm going to stamp out all of these chairs. So again, a really quick way of doing this, which will save you a lot of time. Okay, now I've got all my chairs stamped out. Um, the last step would be to um, teach you about angled objects. So we've got, um, if we say we want to create an angled desk, for example, we can click to place it. Again, choose the select tool. I'll select the angled object and I'll double click. And when I double click, I see it's, it's based off of this network of lines um, and I can drag these nodes to change the desk's shape. So I can drag any of them. I can also click to add a node. So say I wanted to create a really interesting shape. I can by clicking to add nodes and dragging them out. OK, so now we're in our 3D viewer, and we can see all the objects that we just mapped. So you can see here in the lunchroom, we've got all of our lunch tables. If we go to our library, we can see all of our desks and chairs in the study area, and we can see the desk that I've named as Sam's desk. And if we click that, we can actually navigate to it if we want to. Um, I'll be covering navigation more in another video. So that's everything about objects.